making some homemade cranberry sauce to go on your Thanksgiving table. Uh, this is not your average cranberry sauce. I know some people get, you know, they, want, they like it from a can. They like it, you know, the way mom used to make it with sugar and water. Here at the Palm, we're gonna be making cranberry sauce with thyme, lavender, and orange zest. So what we did, started with some fresh cranberries, um, maybe three pounds, uh, some lavender flour, and some fresh thyme. We're going to add in enough sugar to coat your cranberries. The way you gauge that is just mix them up a little bit. Make sure there's a healthy coating. You can always add more sugar later, but I want enough to start with. Also, we're gonna need a little water. Maybe half cup. Mix that together. I'm gonna turn it on. But medium high heat. Add some orange zest. And then we're also gonna use the juice from the orange too. Once you feel like you have enough zest in there, you're gonna use a segment of the orange. We don't want it to be overly orangey, but enough where there's some flavor that goes in as well. So it's literally just combining all the ingredients and letting it cook for a little while. So we're gonna let the cranberries cook down until they start releasing that liquid and we'll take a look back after stirring every now and then. So the cranberry sauce has been cooking for about 30 minutes. Um, during the 30 minutes, I did add two cups more of uh, white sugar, uh, just to give it a little bit more sweetness and consistency. Um, so what we're at, where we're at right now is, um, it's done. The only last step that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull out those little sprigs from the thyme. But, well, it's just, that's, that's small price to pay for the cranberry sauce. Put a little basil on there, just for a little extra flavor.